Hey everybody, what's happening? Sammy the Thrifty Brewer coming at you and happy Homebrew Wednesday. Now there comes a time in a homebrewer's career where sometimes they feel like getting back to basics. And I've reached that time. The very first batch of beer that I made as a home brewer was a Cooper's uh, English Bitter Kit, if I remember correctly. Simple kit and kilo. I had uh, a can of pre-hopped extract out of a can similar to what I'll show you in a bit, and a kilogram of sugar. And I made it, and I was so proud of this beer, so, so proud that I'd made it. Now, I've recently gone into all grain actually not recently been doing all grain for quite a while and there also comes a time where you don't plan appropriately where either you got a bunch of friends come over and they drink out of house and home uh, or you order your supplies a day late and they show up not on the Friday like you were hoping but they'll show up on the Monday so that is what we're dealing with right now so I have an empty fermentation chamber right there it's empty. So I figured, why not do a simple kitten kilo with a couple little tweaks and record it and then brew the beer um, how I would normally brew my all grain beer in terms of like, and what I mean by that, I mean by fermenting it in a controlled environment. Because I'll be honest with you guys, when I first started brewing beer, it was simple kitten kilo, you dump it in. Fermented at ambient air temperature using a specific yeast that came with the kit and leaving it alone. And I, the beer was okay. It was alright. But I certainly have made significantly better beers by leaps and bounds since that point in time. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to make a stout. It's going to be called the kitchen cupboard stout because I went upstairs and raided the wife's cupboards. She's not home right now. And I picked up, uh, was able to find some molasses and some demerara sugar, as well as I'll be adding to it uh, some dextrose or some regular uh, priming sugar as well. And then it's going to be based on this Black Rock Miner Stout. <coughs> now, I've never brewed this beer before, <coughs> and I'm excited to give it a shot. I'll also be adding some schnook hops as well as <coughs> some ghost pepper dust from uh, from Justin Elder in Kentucky. Um, and I'll be fermenting it with a uh, Windsor ale yeast. Anyways, now, the most important thing is to have a beer while you're brewing. So cheers to that. This is a collaboration brew I did with Dan from Tailored Brewing in Toronto. And this includes um, my basically 30 grams of centennial hops that I grew this year for a first year hop plant. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to throw on the uh, hat mount and we'll get to brewing. Okay, so we've got our 500 grams of Demerara sugar measured out. And our 500 grams of dextrose. Take that out actually because that does not need to go into the boil. And then also when I was cruising around I found I had a pound of lactose. So I think we're going to throw that in as well which I'm hoping will provide some residual sweetness to counteract that. Oh dear oh dear. I also have one ounce of Chinook Cops. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a steeped, we're going to do a steep tea. And we're basically going to just add this to our pot over here. We're going to bring it up to a boil. <coughs> and we're going to boil these for a little bit. And then we're, as this boils, we're going to add our sugars and our lactose. And we're going to make sure everything is dissolved, including the molasses. And then once that is dissolved, we're then going to dump it into our clean and sanitized primary. There's nothing wrong with doing this. I want to say that first off and first and foremost because as a home brewer this is how I started and it's all about making things that you enjoy drinking like this for example which is lovely 
So, like I said, we'll get this up to a boil over here. Which we're getting close. We'll add our sugars and our spoon. We'll start stirring things up, making sure everything's dissolved. And basically, we're going to reduce the volume a little bit. And once the sugars dissolve, then add the hops. And let those steep to extract some bitterness from them to helpfully, hopefully work in conjunction with the lactose, which is basically milk sugar. Now, this is not fully fermentable like dextrose is. Um, it's going really, to leave some uh, residual sweetness and a creaminess and what they call mouthfeel, which is going to, like I said earlier, hopefully offset the heat from those because those are going to be going in with the hops. And we're going to let that steep, and then we're going to let that boil. And everything is going to be dumped into here. When you're doing these can kits, one rule of thumb, take a look at the bottom of the can when you, before you buy it. And make sure your best before date is before, well before you buy it. This one's good to October 31st, 2016, which is basically a year away from now. And the same thing with yeast. Now this comes, this kit comes with premium brewing yeast which I'll be honest with you guys, I don't trust. I've used it before and I don't trust it. Um, so do yourself a favor, spend the extra little bit of money and pick up an extra package of yeast. Now this yeast is good before December, 2015. So it may or may not work out, but I mean, like I said earlier, this can kit and this package of yeast was $21 from my local store. And then all of this stuff I've had lying around in the house. So for 21 bucks, we're going to make 23 liters of beer. It may taste good. It may not. But that's all right. That's all right. So let's get to adding it. That's boiling nicely now. And the smell coming off of it is actually really, really nice, believe it or not. We're going to, this hop sludge is giving a really nice piney aroma that works, seems to work really, really well with the 500 grams of Demerara, 500 grams of Dextrose, one pound of lactose, and the one cup of molasses. And then there is also the ghost pepper dust as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this because that needs to heat up and that's uh, tempered, tempered water, tepid water, first a victory sip. Now when you're doing this, I also suggest you have a way to transfer hot pots and pans off of burners. So we're gonna take that, now it's done. Where's my lid? We're gonna cover that up. <coughs> and then we're gonna take the, this, and heat that up. Okay, so that's gonna heat up a little bit. Because all we wanna do is we wanna make this viscous. Viscous is a fancy word for liquidy. Liquidity? Liquid-ish. This. We're going to uh, heat this up a little bit and then that along with that is going to go into our fermentation vessel which is over there which is now sitting in sanitizer and our airlock is here in star sand as well. What the frig is that? Okay and then what we're going to do we're going to add everything together we're going to top it up with water to the 23 liter mark and make sure that we're at temperature, which we will use our handy dandy thermometer with. Okay. And then we're going to take a gravity reading. Okay. And there's our pre hopped wort. Okay. We're going to grab our bucket, which is clean and sanitized. We're going to add our heated up wort. Hello, Spency. Pot. Okay. We're going to come back to this in a bit. Then we're going to add
our other fermentables, which as well as our hops, and there goes pepper dust into the bucket. That's going to do two things. That is going to help dissolve the contents of the bucket. You know this. I'm going to take and dump. Some people will use this water to uh, rinse out the contents of the can. I don't like to do that because you know there's a lot of dissolved glues and everything in there. We're going to boil up a little bit of fresh water. To do that with. Now, you guys will be saying, oh Sammy, what about you know sanitation? What about this? What about that? Honestly, the wart is hot enough right now. You'll be all right. So I'll crank that up. We'll take our spoon. Give it a spray with some sanitizer here. And we'll start to stir. Now this is where it's okay to splash around a little bit because you want to introduce some oxygen if you can. As well as dissolve all that wart. And actually it smells really, really good. Molasses is really coming forward with that. Like I said, splashing is okay. Just let that hang out there for now. We'll grab our sanitized lid. <coughs> Whoa! Tipsy Tuesday, Tipsy Tuesday. We'll give things a bit of a spray. We'll just put that there for now. Then what we're going to do is that this water, once it gets up to temperature, is going to go into here. Which, as you can see, there's a little bit left in there. Ugh. We're going to add this hot water to here and then we're going to rinse it out and get every last little bit of pre-humped wort from there into there. Then we're going to give it another really good stir. Then we're going to top it up with some cool water. Then it's going to go into here after we've added our yeast. And also after we have checked the temperature first and checked for gravity. All right. So yeah, very, very simple. Brewing is not difficult. It's very, very easy. You guys can make it as complicated as you want. All right, so basically we're sitting in just under five liters, we're about four and a half liters. We're gonna shoot for 23, okay? So I'll bring that up to temp. It's getting close. Take our spoon. Now, don't worry, because the water is still quite warm and the wart is very, very hot still. We're going to stir things around to dissolve whatever is sitting. 
side of that can. So black a little more in there. So yeah, you can see sort of what you're working with. Turn that off. And give things a stir. And that can is nice and warm. Take the lid off, put the lid over here. And this will then go into there. Okay, there we are, nice clean can. Not worrying too much about the lid for now. Okay, and now, We'll give things a stir. So then we'll take this and the pitcher over to the sink, which is in the laundry area of the basement. Okay. And we'll top her up to 23 liters. Just nice cool water here. Now the one thing we want to make sure is we want to make sure that we're hitting at least 20 degrees Celsius maximum. So that what works, that's what works well best for the yeast. And in brewer's kits, the yeast is pretty much all purpose, but because we're using a Windsor Ale yeast or British Ale yeast, That works okay. So we'll just come and we'll fill this up. We'll be back when we're all done. Okay, just over 23 liters. I mean, that's my fault. I mean, the washer and dryer isn't totally level. Um, neither is the fermentation chamber. Now we're gonna do, we're just gonna stir things up. This is where it's important when you check your gravity, or sorry, as well as your 
temperature to make sure that you've got a nice even temperature within your primary bucket. Okay, so we're going to take our thermometer, spray it with some sanitizer, turn her on. We're shooting for about 20 degrees. So 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So what we're going to do, tastes good. We're going to stir a bit more. And drop our temperature down a little bit. That's the Windsor British Ale yeast. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample of the gravity. And see how things are looking. Now when you throw in the pipe head in, squeeze it first before you put it in. And we'll go from there. Okay. Let's see how we did. So gravity is sitting at about 10.50. Not bad. And then we'll throw the, make sure that the bung is nice and tight. Snap the lid down and we're done. Finished. We'll pick this up. Put her in the chamber. Close the lid. Call her a day. Grab a piece of chalk. This is uh kitchen cupboard stout 1.050 on 10-3-15 okay then we'll check on this a little bit later on and see how we're doing for Use. fermentation just wipe things off like so now what we're going to do, we're going to take our Windsor Ale yeast and our scissors, which we're going to spray, sanitize and clean and make sure everything's all nice and clean and sanitized. And we're going to cut the bag open, like so. That's going to go there in the garbage. Then we're simply going to sprinkle. And that's it. Now, I also will sometimes stir the yeast into solution. Well, this dry yeast usually comes with an emulsifier, so it's not critical. Okay, and we're done. Brewing beer 101. So now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our lid. Pardon me. Just going to give it another quick little spray with sanitizer. Snap the lid on. Move this stuff out of the way. Record our gravity measurement of 1050. on the fermentation chamber which I will ferment at uh, 17 degrees because I know that where I have the temperature probe placed which is right there it runs one degree cooler than here based on where it is okay 
take our fermentation lock. Fill her up with some water. Not a huge amount. It's just enough. Make things blue blue. Close the lid down. Now some guys use sanitizer. Some guys use vodka. I don't. And then we'll throw the make sure that the bung is nice and tight. Snap the lid down. And we're done. Finished. We'll pick this up. Put her in the chamber. Close the lid. Call her a day. Grab a piece of chalk. This is uh, kitchen. Cupboard stout. 1.050 on 10-3-15. Okay. Then we'll check on this a little bit later on and see how we're doing for fermentation. Now you're going to see some action in the lock, but that's just the pressure equalizing out. Totally normal to see that. But yeah, you guys. So we made a full batch of beer in about an hour and a half because I've been farting around with it. And now we're just going to get to the most exciting part, which is clean up. So we're going to give that a clean, give that a clean, give that a clean. Put it back on the sanitizer, put that away. And call this really, really, really simple brew day done. So we had a black rock stout. What is it called? Black rock miner's kit stout with uh, some Nottingham ale yeast, or some Windsor ale yeast, I should say, with 500 grams of dextrose, 500 grams of demerara sugar, one cup of molasses, one ounce of Chinook hops, as well as uh, that ghost pepper, ghost pepper powder and we took all the fermentables and put them into some uh, into some water, brought up to a boil with the hops and the ghost peppers, let them boil for about 15-20 minutes, added everything to the primary fermenter, took the contents of the can kit, added that to the primary fermenter, filled it up with hot water enough to rinse out the contents of the stuff that is in the can. We then topped it up with cold water to bring it up to our uh, final volume, which is 23 liters. And then added our yeast. Took a measurement, ended off at 1050. So that should give us a probably about, uh, you know, mid fives, low sixes, uh, ABV beer, or alcohol by volume beer. And it took no time whatsoever. Now, obviously it took me longer because I was filming, but yeah, you could probably knock this out if you're organized in about 15, 20 minutes without a problem. And you've got beer and you're done. 23 liters of beer, or two cases and a six pack of beer for $21, depending on what the missus has in the cupboard. Anyways, you guys, this is Sammy, the Thrifty Brewer, thanking you so very much for coming along this lovely little journey and getting back to basics. So by all means, keep calm and brew on. Please be sure to like, subscribe, thumb up the video, and most importantly, please be safe. So if you're going to do something, do with a homebrew, and by all means, keep calm and brew on. Cheers, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. All the best. And I forgot, the subscribe button's down below. And most importantly, please check out the fellow brew tubers I have listed down below. They do some great stuff. And apparently, apparently, International Brew Day coming up this Saturday, 5 a.m., 5, 5 a.m., 5 a.m., Eastern time for Canada. That'd be 10 a.m. Britain time. Hopefully going to be doing a brew with uh, Chris or Harry Brew 69 and crazy new to home brew Tom as well as my good cousin Dan. Good, good buddy Dad's coming up as well. 
Anyways, you guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, thumb up the video, like I said earlier. Subscribe buttons down below. Cheers. Take care. All the best. Please be safe. Cheers.